So the other thing you might need are some still images. You want to make sure that the still images that you bring up are large enough. When you scroll over these, you will see that it gives you, in this case, it's 286 by 268. That's your pixel size. That's not very big. It works a lot better if you can have something that's at least uh, 640 by 480. That's even kind of small. To cut down on the garbage, you can do an advanced search and look for larger file images. I have a little bit of a trouble doing this because everything's in here in Japanese and I'm not always as good with that. Oh, good, it translated. So we should have image size, instead of all sizes, 640 by 480 or higher. So that will help with your image search. And then these, you'll notice, are big enough for your purposes. So once you get there, click on the image and you can go to the actual image and then control click and you can save the image right to your desktop so you can use this. You can put it in downloads, you can put it on your desktop, wherever you want to organize this to, make a new folder, you're all set. So there's one. Let me go find another one um, because the other ha thing about this, that's pretty cool, is that you want to make sure that uh, you put all your pictures into one folder and then you put them into iPhoto in one group. It will make your life easier. Um, control click, save image as, da, 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 saving, yada yada. Now I've got two. Okay. Um, and they are on my desktop. So there's that, there's that. If we put them in a folder, and you would of course have many, many more to be working with, then when you drop them into iPhoto, right over here, you can drag the whole folder and drop it right onto the um, icon in your dock. If iPhoto isn't in your dock, you can um, just open iPhoto and then click File Import and import them, and now you have them here. The other thing you're going to want to do if you have a lot of pictures in iPhoto is put them in their own album. Uh, so, or, yeah. So we want to create a new album, and then we can drag these. Oh, these are already in it. So there we go. New album. There we go. So there's my album. Now, this matters because now when we open iMovie, and we want to access our uh, images, which are over here by the camera, it's generating thumbnails. Oh, I have a lot of pictures in iPhoto, so it's generating thumbnails for those. Um, it will only pop up conveniently if you use it through iPhoto with the little camera icon here. You can drag them in and make them clips, but then you're really limited in terms of the length and duration and that kind of thing. So this will make it easier for you.